Jim, I don't want to do what we've been doing. This is a team that if you are the Pirates and you are looking forward to getting back to your winning ways and getting your hitting on track, you would be encouraged to see the Angels, the Mike Troutless Angels. But we've been here before, so I'm not going to say it. But at any rate, Jim, they are playing them. We should preview it. Uh, let's just start off with this. Colt Tucker revenge game. He's back. <laughs> and he's producing. Yeah, there's actually a few cool, weird revenge game storylines here. Not only Cole Tucker, but yeah, who has played four games now, I want to say. Four Five, five games for the Angels. He's hitting one, he's hitting 417 in those five games. So he's off to a pretty good start. Uh, I'm sure we'll see him at some point. He's been getting, you know, sparingly uh, playing time there. But yeah, it, it's nice to see Cole Tucker back in the big leagues. You know, I think he, everybody likes Cole Tucker. Like nobody's, nobody's rooting against the guy. So, uh, yeah, best of luck to him. Not this series. Like, hopefully, he has a terrible series. Um, but then he can go back to to raking afterwards. Uh, sure. But yeah, it's the Mike Troutless Angels, and they've been having some issues since Mike Trout's been hurt. Uh, looking at their team too, uh, only the White Sox have given up more runs this season uh, in the American League than the Angels, and uh, it's a tight race. So we know how terrible the White Sox are. Uh, the uh, the White Sox have given up only two more runs than the Angels this season. So yeah, if you're looking for a team to finally get on track against, it's these guys. Right. A week ago, we talked about the the A's pitching, right? And it, the starting pitching is where to get them at because the starting pitcher was bad. However, the relievers were pretty solid. The Angels is the not they're 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 not they're all around just bad as far as pitching goes, like you're mentioning. So, so right, like there is that aspect of it. Like the pitching is really, really bad. The offense has been okay, actually. Like it's been basically about league average, but that's while having a Mike Trout. Now without Mike Trout, there's still some guys in there that you want to worry about. <clears throat> Joe Adele having a really, really good season right now. Uh, I'm not going to say like, oh, you know, he's he's now what as advertised you know, as a prospect and he's there now, but like, he is so far having a pretty, pretty damn good season. Uh, so got to look out for outside of that. <clears throat> geez, outside of that, uh, Taylor Ward, <laughs> your boy, Taylor Ward, Jim, he's uh, he's still producing over there. But yeah, like there's still there's some guys in the offense, too, that, you know, you're not running off. But overall, the offense actually has been really, really bad. Especially without Yeah, there's there's a few names there. I mean, you mentioned Ward, you mentioned um, you mentioned Ward, you mentioned Adele, Luis Renjifo, too, hitting 330. So Apparently like there's he's... some. Yeah, there's some guys hitting the ball. Um, it's not a scary lineup by any means. Like, there's no one, there's no one in this lineup where you're like, we can't let this guy beat us, right? There's some, there's some. It's a lineup. I feel like it's like just sort of made up of role players, right? Especially now with Trout gone, Ward is maybe the one guy who can do damage. Joe Adele is, you know, capable of doing some damage. Uh, but he's kind of cooled off too a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. I, I think the it's a good it's a good chance for for Pirates pitching to to hopefully perform well. Uh, pitching wise, Tyler Anderson, I think, is starting tonight. He's actually had a pretty decent season. Um, Sandoval goes on Tuesday. Jose Siriano, <clears throat> who, if you're a Pirates fan, you may remember he was the Pirates' roll five pick in. Uh, the, the off season of 2020 and he was on the IL the entire season yeah. and then returned to the angels the next off season. So the pirates had Jose Siriano on their, on their roster for an entire year and gave him back to the angels. And he's actually putting together a semi okay season as well. So semi okay. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, um, so that's an interesting storyline there, you know, former, former pirate Jose Soriano who pitched zero games, but was on the team for a year. Uh, yeah. It, it's, it's a series that, I mean, just kind of looking back on all these series is that they've been playing here lately. It's a series they should win. Like they, they're the better team. 
The Angels are struggling. They're 12 and 22 this season. They're not good. So you're at home against these guys. This is your chance for the bats to wake up. This is your chance to, to, to put up a couple of wins because right after this series, it goes Cubs, Brewers, Cubs, right? Yeah. So yep. like get it together right now. This is your chance to get it together. You're absolutely right. Because you know the like the, the games that really, really matter are coming up. And we just opened the show talking about, you know, was the Colorado Rockies series enough to like the turning point for this offense? They have to find it here because it's going to mean a lot right now. And you have a chance, I'm not going to say it's going to happen, right? But like you have a chance to get back to 500 right here. So, like this, the opportunity of this series is a, a full reset. You can get back to 0 0, start a whole new season. Now you're facing the division teams that matter. You know, like you can make some difference in the standings here. And it all starts with this, right? This series. So, yeah, uh, I'm not saying like this is like a super important series, right? It still is May or whatever, but there's they need to get on track soon because if they're going to dig themselves too much, too much of a hole here. Um, and then, right, you know, the, the cool thing about this too is like the pitching is pretty bad for the angels but like they're also not facing like reed detmers you know so like the, the cool thing is they're facing tyler anderson is having a really good season mind you i will say that like not to discredit him but it's also like they're not facing like their best pitcher either on the terrible staff so they need to they need to man i hope the offense comes alive obviously they're playing at home too it's so not going out west where the you know the giants and angels or giants and a's series was just terrible so at least they're facing them in pnc park um yeah yeah i don't know much more to add to this let's just let's two out of three at least they need it yeah they 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 need to win some games like yeah they need their confidence back they need their swagger back you kind of saw it creeping back yesterday like guys were having fun people were smiling like that's Mm -hmm. that's what you want to see this team do because it hasn't been fun for a long time and you know we've done three weeks of post game shows and it has not been fun, right? Correct. <laughs> it's way more fun when we're here after a win. We're giving away sandwiches. We're talking about hitting and, and pitching and, and scoring. Uh, we haven't been doing that a lot lately. So let's let's get back let's get back to some winning ways. That sounds excellent. So let's do that. Let's kick it off tonight with a big W. Probably the hardest again challenge. It's going to be Tyler Anderson. Um, but let's do it pirates for let's do it everybody. <laughs>